walking at the rear of a 1985 Mercedes diesel station wagon. And for those of you who've been around these old 80s era Mercedes with what is called Palomino interior, you're probably familiar with a very common problem that you see when you get in these old cars, particularly the back ends of the station wagon. Look what this looked like when I picked up the car a couple years ago. I mean, you open that rear hatch, you didn't even want to look in there. You want to close your eyes. But I'm going to show you now, after doing some simple restoration work, what this looks like. Now, granted, it's not perfect. <laughs> but look at this. You're going to have to admit <laughs> that's so much better than what you saw in the previous picture. Now, a lot of people have left comments asking, how do you do that with your carpet? How do you do the uh, upholstery? How do you recolor it? Because what we're dealing with here is what we call pink amino interior. It has a tendency to want to turn pink over time. So I'm going to show you what I do to restore Palomino interior. I'm going to talk about carpets first because you have to deal with these a little bit differently than you do with either the vinyl or the leather upholstery on the seats. But look what happens. You can see here's the original color here that was hidden by that seat belt arm cover. And then look where the hump is, right behind the front seats. That's what's exposed to UV and it's the light that really gets to the coloring along uh, the side of the door panels. This is the same. You can see the original color down in here and then you get up in here and this turns really light and eventually, it's particularly on the seats, it'll turn a pinkish color. So I use a different product when dealing with carpet than I do with dealing with the leather or the vinyl. And I'm going to demonstrate why I do that now. Imagine if you got some Palomino leather carpet dye product and you started spraying it on your carpet like this. And you spray it on there and you go, hey, just a minute. Look at that. This is, this is kind of too orangey. So I just want to warn you, not all Palomino spray paint is created equal. Now for carpet, I ended up buying this SEM color code product. It's right here. It's 15323. You can purchase this on Amazon and it says it's Palomino. Well, I sprayed this on the seats and it didn't look very good. But then I went to spray it on the carpet. Look at the difference. See that? So you're not going to ever get it perfect, but you're going to get it pretty close with this SEM spray. But this does not look good when you spray it on the seat. So the door panels, it just is the wrong color. And when you spray, the World Upholstery product, which I like for seats, it doesn't look right. So I will put links in the description below this video, and I'll show you the link to the World Upholstery product that I like for leather and vinyl seats, and then I'll put you a link on this SEM Palomino for the carpets. Now, one thing about preparation. For carpets, you wanna make sure they're really clean. And I like the Folex carpet cleaner. This is the best carpet cleaner I've ever used. And why I like this in preparation for spraying your carpets is it doesn't require any rinsing. So you want to make sure your carpets are clean. And what I do is I end up spraying one coat, then I kind of brush it, and then I spray a cross coat to kind of get the nap up on your carpets. I recommend this product here for cleaning leather and vinyl in preparation for spraying it with the World Upholstery product, and that's SEM Prep. It's a plastic and leather preparation. It kind of softens the coating so the new spray will stick. So preparation is important. 
Now I'm going to take you into the shop and show you how my 380SL turned out, which also has pink amino interior. At least it was pink before I finished it. I recently completed restoring the interior in my 380SL, and I apologize I didn't take any before pictures. Because if I had, this piece right here was like totally pink, and all this carpet down in here was totally faded. Now, if you look closely, you can see it's not perfect, but it certainly looks a lot better than it did. And the seats were kind of pink up along these edges here. You can see there's still a little bit of fading on the headrest. I did not recolor the headrests, but look at the seats. Look how nice the seats look. They've been sprayed with the Palomino product from World Upholstery. And so I'm happy. This isn't a show car. This is a driver. And it looks pretty good when you stand back and admire the interior and cherry here. Now, I'm going to leave some links below. And I also shot a video on spraying a leather interior. And I will put a link to that video in the description below this one.